Hello and welcome to this week's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Franco and today we'll be adding some custom properties to default toolbox components so they populate your bill of materials to your company standard. Since toolbox is database driven, we have to access the database and add the properties we want. To get to it, we go through the SOLIDWORKS Tools Options menu. Under the Whole Wizard Toolbox, verify your toolbox location and choose Configure. From this screen, you can create new holes in the whole wizard, customize toolbox, and change various other settings. For today, we'll choose Customize Hardware. I'm going to add some properties to an ANSI inch set screw, so we browse to it by clicking the folders until we find the fastener we need. Once the fastener is selected, we can add unique part numbers and descriptions to each size. These will end up being configuration specific properties, and that's how Toolbox creates fastener sizes. You can add custom properties as well. Here we will add material as a property. Since all sizes will be steel, we can propagate this property to all configurations. Let's take a step back and add some properties to the first size. Make sure to save the changes you made to that database. We'll close out of the dialog and now start a new assembly. Let's add the fastener we just modified and make sure we pick that small sized one. Notice all the information we added to the database comes through. Now let's add a bill of material. We can see the custom part number and description automatically come through. And if we add a new column and point it to the material custom property, that will populate as well. So next time you find yourself changing your bomb manually to put in proper descriptions or part numbers for toolbox components, think about how much time you can save by adding these to the toolbox database. Thanks for watching this week's tech tip. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.